This is gonna get changed. This is an emergency. <laughs> We're not keeping this. Got the sketch. <laughs> We're not keeping this. <laughs> What's up guys, back to you again with another video of us modding Nevada's car. This time he's actually here. So, we're just jumping right into it. As you can tell from the title of the video, this is the infamous Depot radiator. This is super hard to get, super hard to find, and holds out like, I think like 800 horsepower. It's like good up to like 800. So, let's get the owner. To come explain why he decided to go with Depot, this super rare. It's actually it's actually pretty light. It's actually pretty. I like it. I really like it. But let's go ahead and get his opinion on this, and then start by start the install by removing his front bumper. This should be very 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 easy. All right. What do you think about this Depot, man? Why'd you even get it? Why Depot? Because it was back in stock and it's less than half the price of the competition. Exactly. And on top of that too, what a lot of people don't know is that with Depot Racing is that they, all these manufacturers like AMS, they basically all use the same damn core. Mm -hmm. So you're not really losing anything. At the, end, at the end of the day, you know, most people buy ETS and AMS. I mean, they, they are reputable companies 100%. I'm not fault of no one. But at the end of the day, most people do it for clout. And I'm not about to spend basically $900,000 on the same interval. Exactly. Like for, I think I got this for, for 370 that's pretty Shipping. good. That's pretty good. So compared to an ETS or AMS. Yeah, like you said, like the four-inch ETS or AMS, bro, is gonna run you between eight, eight and nine hundred, <sighs> and that's not including shipping. Four-inch core. That's my hand next to that thing. Sir. Sheesh. So that's that. So that's why I went with that. You know. All right. So this should be a simple install. Honestly, you just gotta take off the front bumper, and just get to work. Honestly. Let's get started. All right. So it was super simple to take off his bumper, obviously. These five bolts. Clips for the under tray and then literally just pop it off. He has the quick release, so it makes our life super easy. Now it's just time to remove the couplers off the intercooler and then the bracket. We're going to take off these two bolts under the intercooler and then these rubber Oh wow, this would be pretty easy to just come yeah. off. Usually it's usually hard, but okay. They said the hardest part for these cars is definitely usually I think this um the these couplings, you know, but like I already changed those, so yep. we're good. And I use I think some type of anti seize or some shit on it to oh, wow, make wow. it easy to come off. You use grease on your pipes? Uh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more bolt to go. Nice right, so what do you think, man? Beefy. The beefy? Yeah, that turbo lag. <laughs> it's a turbo lag, wow. Shut up. I don't I don't know how that equates to turbo Shut the hell lag, up, but son. okay. <laughs> I mean I mean they're not ray dimes though. They're not no, they're good well dude. Nah, nah, they good they look pretty good. Like like it's not going nowhere type shit. Yeah, that's right. All that gap right here, all of that. It's filled up. What are you doing now? Um I just took off the, the bottom bolts, now I gotta just, just take off um the, the couplings two, two and then couplings. she she's out of here. Couplings and then um the rubber. You might have to jack the car up a little bit to slide it out from under. Oh shit! Yeah. Nah, his, he's already monster truck height. You don't need to jack up anymore. Wow, he's, <laughs> <a monster laughs> <That's tough. laughs> he's already monster truck height. He's good. <laughs> Some call me a monster truck. Right. Yeah, facts. But it's all right because it's right here in my yard. So. <laughs> all right, here she comes. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. You're not gonna get copyrighted for that, right? No, because it's your voice. Gotcha. It's your voice, you know what I mean? If I actually oh, played the song. Go. You're gonna get monetized. <laughs> yeah. If I actually played the song, <laughs> it would be. It would be <laughs> <laughs> nah, I knew the answer. I was just being an asshole. Yeah. This shit's disgusting, dude. Yeah, that is pretty nasty. I mean, it doesn't look bad in there. Ain't no oil in there, man. Check and see if you got some oil. Ain't no oil, oil in there, water, man. Oil, oil, Stop water playing. In there. <laughs> I still seen him looking. Yeah, Mike look at that. It's dripping Mike, out. As soon as I seen him looking, son. Mike shit is dripping with oil. As soon as I seen him looking, I was like, ain't no oil. I already knew. I was the like, second ain't no oil we in took there, off man. Mike's in the cooler, it, it was dripping. actually dripping oil. That's, that's bad blow by. I like, yeah. Mike, you better get a cash can quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't even have a cash can, so that's pretty good. Yeah, you don't even have a cash can, so that's actually pretty good. No, but remember, he's not. 
Mike's pushing fucking some boost. Yeah. Bro, I'm pushing 26 pounds. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Bro, I'm pushing 26 pounds. Like, what does he say? His car weighs 34 pounds, he says? I think it's I think it's 34 pounds. Mike, Except Mike, bro, comment in the video and tell us what you make. I'm pushing 26. My car peaked at 29. But I'm pushing 26. And there's, there's no blow by? No blow by. No catch can. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, you do have a vented oil. So you're stat. No, but remember, even before that, I mean, because like if it was, I mean, it relieves the pressure, you so you don't really have much blow by. This is ugly. Oh wow, <laughs> this is man out here out for blood. This is ugly. No, no, it is. It, it's yeah. just, it's. Uh. Yeah, it is not a pretty fuel rail. <laughs> but it's all right. Soon, oh, th this is the upgrade Nevada's car series. Facts, right? <laughs> you got money now, allegedly. Oh yeah, allegedly. All right, so quick comparison. Yeah, Four inch. This compared to that is this comical. Is, yeah, this is this is this is a comical piece. This is this Crazy is this is just a joke. Pull. Yeah, after a pull, crazy heat soak versus you can do several and it would you'll be fine. So you can even look at the veins. Yeah. How there's more space in between the veins. Yeah. So look how thick. Yeah, you can see. Wow. Huh? Wow. I like it. I like it. Yo, son. Very nice. The welds. Oh, the welds aren't too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I realize. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Hey, hey, watch the radiator. Shut up. <laughs> you need a new radiator anyway. Oh, no. You got it in here? Oh, whoa, whoa. I want to try that thing. Where? I swear, you guys are the worst. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, that thing. Said you got it in the. Uh, push that side out. Like towards you? No, towards. Yeah, dude, do it the way I'm telling you so you don't gotta fight with it. But it's the same shit. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. The if you put the hanger on. On the tip? On the tip. Oh, no, no, that's that. That, 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 <laughs> that is, that is, that is what I'm trying to do. Dick. I'm trying to put the hanger on the yes, tip. Yes, put you it on the fucking tip, bro. You try to put, put it <laughs> Put on you, the tip, bro. You got that side in? No, nah, not at all. I'm nowhere near. Oh, so what the fuck? You got to take at I least thought... one of the hangers off. Yeah, I thought. All right. Oh. Dude, all right, take yours all right, off. So my please. side is coming yeah, off. Yeah, you got more room. Take yours off. Ah, there we go. All right, Nevada, slide yours in. Oh, my. <laughs> Pick it up, D. Let me put this in there and we there slide this go. over the tip. Yeah, just put it in a little bit. I thought <laughs> I thought you had your side in, bro. Never. <laughs> bro, I, I couldn't even see my Take side. Off, dude. Rip it off, man. No, take it off, not rip it off. Nah, man, you gotta rip it off. Hold on, I got it on my side, bro. Oh, God. Yeah, no, right. not that, bro. Remember, bro, I got no leverage over here, son. There you go. Yeah, motherfucker. I got no leverage over here, bro. Yeah, his pretty hands, man. His bro, you should see what my hands go through at work. <laughs> this ain't shit. Not, not I don't know what you do with your hands at work, bro. I don't want <laughs> You ready? Watch the rad, man. Watch the fucking rad, man. How you doing? Oh, no, sir. There we go. Go ahead. There we go. Now you slide them, now you slide them in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, there you go. I got my side in. See, See you guys? Oh, you was recording all that? Oh, shit. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> all right, she's in there. <laughs> okay, I see you problem number one. Is it supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, this is raw. Archipelago. <laughs> Yo, it's so crazy. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, look. I just I just keep an issue. What? That's three inch and that's there two. There you go. Oh. One is three. One is two and a half. Wait. So how did you fit that couple over this? No. This one has to. This one is three and a half. That one's three. I mean, and look, this one is, is town, three. Son. I mean, that no, one is no three. way. Top is two and this one is three. You're gonna have to get a reduce or yeah. three to two. Nah, no way. Three to, a, three for, a three to two and a half. Well, just do three inch piping. <laughs> this nah, guy. That's too much money. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think that's custom. Nobody sells three inch piping for the Evo. No one. So where we at now? We can go to SK and go get a three to two. Yeah, that's all we could do. What time do SK close? Matter of fact, we got all zone too. They got three to twos. Pep Boys. <laughs> all right. All right so Off to Pep Boys. We 
got the spectrum. This is gonna get changed. This is just an emergency. We <laughs> We're not the, keeping this. We got the spectrum. <laughs> We're not keeping this. <laughs> We're not keeping this. It's not that, We're not keeping that. That is just all those on to the rescue. Oh, yeah. All right, let's chop open this spectra. Got the spectra doing the job. Yeah, so the the intercooler hangs down too low for you to put these little bolts in. Hang down? Huh. Oh, no, matter of fact, I can put it. Can you push this shit up? Well, actually, just a little bit. Nah. Well, you didn't connect that coupler, so you have to. Nah, it is connected. No, it's not. No, it's not. Nah. No, it's not. I need light. All right, so we finally found the flaw with these depot radiators. This area right here. Oh yeah, radiators, intercoolers. Well, it's weird. L look at this. It's like he. It's like it's purposely messed up right here. Like there's really no reason why there's an extra bulge here. It's interesting because the welds go this way and then just. Anyway, this is knocking in to the OEM crash bar, and I guess you can get the JDM crash bar, but we don't got that kind of money or time right now. Oh, so we're gonna take sucks. this off and grind it out a little bit. We see we kind of grinded out a little bit last oh, night, no, no. but we need to get on a little bit more for that little steak that's on this radio. Oh, no, Keep saying radio in the cooler right here. All right, so we gouged out a lot of it. Let's see if it fits now. All right, we've done gouged out enough to get enough space to get this thing to meet up. The whole problem was this piping was way too close up to this and was not allowing us to get in there simply because we cannot bolt in the bottom half of the radio. Right away, YouTube. So, all right, time to install the Spectra. Oh my gosh, I'm saying that. <laughs> the three inch to the two and a half inch. Alright, nice and buttoned up with the spectrum. He's getting the top all done up. And you should see first start soon. It's not gonna sound any different, but it's gonna run more efficiently. Alright, all the connections are tight. Up to this last one. And that's it. That's really how you install the depot radiator. I keep calling it a radiator in a cooler. Yeah, should have learned nothing from this guy. You don't know what he's talking about. Facts. We have nice gap spacing in between. So, everything should be good. No rubbing or nothing. Alright, another successful install. What do you think, Mike? No more heat soak. No more heat soak. Big boy power. Alright, another mod we did to his car, another video to add to this upgrading about his car series. Alright, another great install. This thing just looks amazing. Minus, you know, the slight little setbacks of grinding, but it's perfect. I love this thing. So, that's another episode of modding about his car. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna get back started on the Porsche again. So, forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Never forget, never stop modifying.